That'd be fine. Is that- wait, is that the sun? That's really small for the sun. I want a Mercury. Shouldn't it be, like, gigantic? Oh, wait, no, it's not the sun. It's got a cloud. Is that Venus? Is that- Oh! Yep, okay, fair enough. That would probably be the sun, then. The thing sets up the entire screen. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. Yo, can call me Zubudu, and welcome back to Minecraft Galacticraft, the Extra Worlds mod. And as you can tell, I am back on the overworld. I have returned from Mars with a whole bunch, a whole loot of Desh. The uh, Desh being the only stuff you can find over on uh, the Martian surface. And I need that to build some better things to go to some new planets, which is what I'm going to do in this episode. We are going somewhere new. We are going all the way to Mercury. We have been to Mercury. Mercury before where it wasn't available in the original Galacticraft, but now with extra planets, you can go to the closest planet to the sun and turn into a deep fried pork chop. Um, I have my tier three rocket and my cargo rocket, which I got from the dungeon. So let's quickly make the most of those. Unlock the cargo rocket. Sure, we're well not. Boom, there we go. And unlock the tier three rocket. There's perfect. What do I actually need? What do I actually need to make the tier three rocket? I don't, I don't know yet. Tier one rocket. Where's the tier three rocket? Tier 4. Why would I type tier 3? Would you bring up the tier 3? Like all these other tiers. Where well, the hell is There it is. Okay. What do you need? Uh, heavy duty plate, nose cone, and heavy duty fins, and a heavy rocket engine. Heavy duty plate needs dash and compressed heavy duty plate. And that's... Oh my gosh. It's all of them. That's so many. Oh, I hope I have enough dash. I really do. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break down this rocket just yet because I might need it to go all the way back to Mars to get some more dash if I eventually run out. And uh, you don't get much for like disassembly rockets anyway, so there's not a whole lot of point to like just handicapping myself like that. I've got the comp uh, compressing going on. How many do I actually need to make this thing again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then four in each of those. So uh, what's that? That's four, eight, 12, 16. So 26. What else do I need? Anything in here? 28. Um, probably the nose cones. We've got something going on. And it's uh, 30, 31. I'm currently smelting 26. So I need to make some more. I need to compress some more dash and get some more heavy duty plate with some meteoric iron. Uh, 26, so I need another 5. Okay, let's do, let's, let's do 6, because it all happens in doubles. God, this is so freaking annoying. I don't want to do it like this. It takes so long. I've got the stuff I need to make the boosters. I think it's, only, it's like two, was like two tier 1 boosters for this? Yeah, two tier 1 boosters. I've got myself to make that. Uh, might well, just get out of that. My well, thing should be finished compressing by now. Yes, there it is. 32, so i got one extra just in case. Uh, what else do I need? I need compressed, wait, compressed titanium? No, oh, thank God. I need more heavy duty plates. That's annoying. How many? I need, uh, well, Jesus Christ, there's so many. Did I, oh, shit. Oh, I didn't miscount. Okay, so I need another eight, uh, heavy duty plates and, uh, flint and steel, a button and a tin canister. I got the tin canister upstairs already. I know that. Where is it? It's in here. It's, yeah, tin canister. Uh, far, 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 fucking hell. It's just going to take me forever to do this. This is the worst part about making rockets. Going through just finding the stuff that you need. Uh, so I need, what was it? Eight. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there we go. Of you. So fuck it, it's going to be all of you. Go compress some more of that. And then we can make it. So it's just, it's back and forth. It's all back and forth all the time. Oh, it's a killer. Get some wood. It's weird that of all the things I have, I don't have any wood. Make a stick and make that. There we go. Go and then get like this and you. There we go. Okay, so we have a nose cone, a booster, uh, two boosters, and the rocket engine. What am I missing now? Just the fins, I think. Just the fins, which is uh, the stuff I just made downstairs. So I'm gonna quickly run down and grab that out of the compressor. Thank you very much. There's a whole lot in there. I've got. To, I've May have uh, overmade the materials, but that's right. Having too much of one thing is usually a good thing, unless it's like. Well, uh, anything that kills you. Too much of anything kills you, actually. Never mind. I'm talking out of my ass. Right. I need to make these. Boom. I can make six of them. I only need four. Thank you very much. Uh, I've still got all the stuff I need. To... Wait, am I short? Are you kidding me? I'm short one heavy duty plate. Mm, why do you always have to make it so difficult? All right. Here we go. I've got everything. Uh, Yes, I'm not going to bother going back into the chest because I don't need to. Uh, there is my NASA workstation. Oh, make it to... The, uh, you have, I have to try and make it to the, the fuel loader or else I hurt my ankles on doing that one. So you... Where... Where is it? Tier 3. Boom, 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 boom. 
I forgot my chests. I always forget the freaking chests. Every single bloody time. All right, let's try this again. T3 rocket. Boom, 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 boom. No, that one. There we go. And that one. There, everything's good. T3 rocket into all the storage space. Boop. There we go. I finally have my tier 3 rocket. Get this shitty tier 2 one out of the way. There we go. Thank you very much. And I'm going to put the new one. Bop. Just like that. Oh, it's sexy. And it has a purple lip. Yes, it has a purple nose. It makes me so happy. I didn't even know that. Oh, fuck yeah. All right. Well, I've done that. I can put this on here. Bop. If you wouldn't mind just disassembling that rocket for me. Giving back all the gubbins I've left inside it. And while that's going on, I can take... Actually, before I do that, I'm going to dump all the extra shit I have back inside my base. Are you done yet? Oh, you actually gave me some decent stuff that time. Thank you very much. Apparently, disassembling a tier 2 rocket is actually semi-worth it. We are almost ready. Grab all the stuff out of here. I, I wish I was, is there a button to, like, take all? Why is there no take all button for a chest? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Put it all in here. You are full of fuel. Put all the stuff I need in there so I'm ready to go later on. Uh, now, I need a quick check. Fuel loader. Do I get my fuel load? Oh, yep, yep. Fuel loader there. Uh, oxygen compressor, collector, solar panels for power. Not bringing a generator this time because I got yelled at doing it last time. I'm going to Mercury, the land of sun, for a million years. I mean, if it, if it, maybe well, it also means it's a billion years of night time. So if it goes to night time, you know, I might just go make a, a, a generator while I'm at it because you never know. You never know when you might need uh, some fossil fuel goodness. Got some excellent empty canisters. The only thing I don't have, if I quickly get out of here, is the better thermals because if I just type in mercury into here, you can see it required for mercury T3 thermal padding. So I need to make uh, compressed dash. I got that. That's fine. Uh, cloth with compressed uh, compress dash. That didn't work very well at all, and we can go all the way down. Okay, I'm pretty sure, uh, if I get out of this view, I have some thermal padding left over. So I should just be able to make that, put that straight into, um, to make it tier two. Yep, okay, got that there. What do I, I need to compress dash to make the next one, didn't I? No, that's compressed steel. Where my, where's my dash gone? I used all of it, didn't I? God damn, I have to keep compressing dash, I don't want to do it anymore. Oh boy, this has been a nightmare. Making the T3 stuff is so goddamn expensive. I didn't realize getting into it. Just to make the fabric, first of all, the fabric doesn't stack. But like, look, you have to make a fabric, you have to use five or, you know, you have to make the thing out of the fabric, uh, five thermal cloths for one dash. And to make the thermal cloths, you know, I have to have used so so many sheepies, so many sheepies sacrificed to make this many freaking thermal cloths. So now I just need to go and go, this is gonna take forever. Go like this, like that, and go like that. There we go, boom. That's one of them. Now I can't just like click and drag because I don't stack. I have to do this individually, which is taking for freaking ever. Last one, boom, there we go. Okay, you are good. Get rid of all you, get rid of all you. Oh, what a freaking nightmare that was. What an absolute genuine nightmare. I've skipped the whole like level two, like tier, tier two thermal padding because I don't need it. Go straight to tier three. Oh, right. Uh, is my tier one spacesuit gonna work? Can I can I see? Uh, was, uh use full uh full stop pressure damage and slow down the rate of radiation gain. T the tier of each part of the spacesuit counts towards reducing the amount of radiation. The higher the spacesuit's here, the slower the rate. That doesn't tell me anything at all. That, why why don't you tell me what planets that works on? Does it tell me tell me on here? Uh, correct magnitude false. That's good. So the reason I'm going to Mercury first, not Venus, is because Venus has that corrosive atmosphere that you need the shield generator for, which Mercury has. Look, daylight, 820 hours. If I land at night time with only solar panels, I am going to be screwed. That reminds me, I need to make the generator. Um, yeah, I don't. I think it's gonna work. I don't know. Let's just go there and find out. If not, I can just revert the save, and we'll be fine. Let's just make sure all systems are good to go before I go. I'm not taking the moon buggy. I left the moon buggy on Mars, even though it's, you know, it's clearly supposed to be on the moon. So that's up in the sky somewhere. Don't have any sort of transport when I land on Mercury. Mercury is tiny. I should just be able to run around the world in like three seconds flat. Um, do I have everything I need before I launch? Got solar. I got a generator. I got coal. I got wire. I got fluid pipes. I got saplings, dirt, leaves. Yep. Okay. Bunch of things to build a base with. My flags. 
I think we're going to be okay. I think I've got everything I need. But let's not think about that now. Spacebar, take off my brand new purple tipped rocket. Let's fuck the sky with this big rockety dick. Here we go. The moment of truth coming down. Slow down. I don't know how slow I need to be. I assume that like probably like 10 minutes a second for now. That'd be fine. Is that, wait, is that the sun? That's really small for the sun. I want a Mercury. Shouldn't it be like gigantic? Oh wait, no, it's not the sun. It's got a like, cloud. Is that Venus? Is that... Oh, yep, okay, fair enough. That would probably be the sun then. The thing sets up the entire screen. Ooh, there's the ground. Let's not use all our fuel right now. Does it easy, does it? Easy, does it? Easy, oh, slower, slower, please. Oh my god. Right, okay, landed on a mountain. Didn't get to slow all the way down. I probably should have, what is that floating? Oh, that's the mountain. Okay, it's floating in. Probably should have figured that the, uh, like the sun would be that massive. There's no way Earth would be that big. But uh, that's, um... Yep, my solar should do pretty well here, I would think. Well, the good news is that my radiation... Well, not my radiation. My, my space suit seems to be working, and my thermal protection is protecting. So I guess I'm okay. Uh, isn't Mercury tiny, and shouldn't gravity be like zero here? I'm not going near... I would have thought I'd be like flying away into the distance with every jump I took, but instead it says it's very similar to the moon. Or is it the same size as the moon? I don't know. I should probably look that shit up. But uh, this um, I don't know where to build a base. I guess right on top of this plateau is a good kind of spot. Uh, just, oh, I just threw my pickaxe somewhere. Oh, there it is. Jeez, don't want to lose that. It's a long way back to get a new one. I've cleared off this little plateau. As much as I want to build a base on top of that giant mountain, it's way too far away from where a rocket ship is. So that would just be a generally bad idea. Uh, I need all of the cobblestone, please. I'm going to make the standard Shabuddle base. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my flags and plant my name in the history of extra planets and say that I have finally made it to Mercury. I'm going to plant it up in front of where my base is going to be because, you know, where, where else would it be? Right, right about. Ready? Go! Yeah, there it is. Then we're all going to put right next to it. Uh, if I can just go. No, damn it. I, I cooked it. I cooked the flag planting ceremony. Neil Armstrong will be very disappointed with me. Yep. Uh, and there, and then like this. No, the cake is on the line. That's not what I wanted. I wanted something else. There, there we go. Where is it? Where is it? Australia. Select. Boom. Yes, there we go. Representing me and my country. We have made it to Mercury. One of these days, I'll learn how to build like actually cool bases on a planet because this everything I build is just a big square with a lot of. I've made always oh, too much empty space inside it. I've moved my flags outside my door. I've got the room down here to put in all my oak leaves. Oh, all, all my oak leaves. Why? Why you know oak leaf? Uh oh. Is this? Is this? Have I? Have I cooked it? Do I have to go like this and then? Uh oh. Is it because there's a, I think it might be because there's a hole in the ceiling to get power from my, um, whatchamacallit, my, my, my solar panels up there. So if I, just, fuck it, just plug it with that. If I plug that, can I then place leaves? I don't know. I, so, something's wrong. My entire mission for getting oxygen has gone awry. Okay, thank God. I can finally put some leaves down. I don't know why that wasn't working for me before. But suddenly I couldn't put any leaves down. That would have meant I had no oxygen very quickly. Warning, high radiation concerns. Uh oh, that uh, that seems like a bad thing. That seems like I might die from that relatively quickly. Uh, I don't want that to happen. Okay, can I finish off my oxygen. That will be fine. That's that's getting enough there. Oh boy! In fact, one of my oxygen tanks is completely depleted. How do I fix my oh? How do I fix my radiation? I mean, I need to like sleep or uh, drink a potion, but I don't have either of those things. So what am I gonna do? I need to take my freaking thing off my back, don't I? Get this, get that, bring you in here. There you go. Uh, I'm in trouble. This is what I need. I need anti-rad. Uh, what do you need? Uh, potassium iodide. No idea what that is. The compressed magnesium. No, okay, so this is just clean water bucket. This is just completely out of my wheelhouse then. Infected water bucket with iodized salt makes... Oh my god, that's so much more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. Decontamination unit. How do I make one of these? Lapis azuli block. Mercury battery. Iodized salt. Oh, this is going to be bad. I'm going to die of radiation. Or maybe I won't die. Maybe I'll just turn into a Mercury monster. No one will ever land on Mercury again because I'll have 18 limbs and I'll chase people around like a spider on crutches. I've put all the stuff of value into my chest here. So hopefully, I mean, hopefully I respawn back on Mercury. I don't know. I haven't died on the planet in extra, in extra planets. Hopefully I don't respawn back on the overworld. If I do, I am completely cooked. But if I come back here, then all my stuff will be in there. So I may as well just go exploring for a little bit. See what's around. See what Mercury has to offer. 
Uh, oh, actually, oh, I gotta lose. I'm gonna lose all of this. That's gonna be a problem. Maybe I should just stay home and see what happens. Because then if I spawn somewhere, if I find my way back to this, then I'll be okay and I can put all my oxygen equipment back on before I uh, suffocate to death the next time around. Maybe nothing does happen to me if I have full radiation. Because I've been at like maximum for a little while now. If I quickly just build some stairs down to my basement. I like the like the textures of, of Merkur. Like it's all grey and smooth. It's, it's like soothes me down. But yeah, I've been on full radiation for a little while. Maybe I don't die immediately when I get to the end of it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I've planted some trees outside. So I've got another supply of wood. I might still just leave my pick. No, I won't leave my pickaxe at home, actually. I will take it with me. And I, mm, no, no, take mine again. I'll leave this at home. And I'll go explore and see if I can find a dungeon. Because the dungeons are the next step. So we're going to find the next rocket. And there's got to be something good for me out here somewhere. I just have no idea where that's going to be. Look at my sweet little house over there. I'm so glad I built on top of like a little plateau there. It looks awesome. There's like a touch of color in a desolate gray uh, wasteland. But like the other really cool thing about Mercury is like, look how deep these canyons are. Like just trying to move around just takes ages and careful stepping because you still take fall damage. If you go a little bit too far, I left my food at home. That was dumb. I'm running out of food. Um, but like, is that a, is that a meteor or is that a slimeling? Is that a slime? Ow! Is that a slimeling block? Can you be slimeling? Ow! No, it's... Okay, it's... Ow, now I'm starting to die of radiation. I'm oh, falling off the cliff. Kicked off the dying. Quick, get as close to home as possible. We're going to lose all my gubbins. No! God damn it! <gasps> you are kidding me. You are kidding me. I spawned back on Earth? No, it's not... I, I don't have any... Ow! I forgot about gravity. I don't have any rockets. I can't get back. It's all over there somewhere. All of my stuff, all of my work. Oh, it's okay. Listen, it's not the worst thing in the world because I saved the state of the game, but just after I finished building my base. But that means that I, when I do reload the state, I have to find a way off Mercury again, quickly build a way to come home, and figure out some way to stop myself getting so much goddamn radiation. Maybe that's like maybe maybe the better spacesuit will fix me. Space? No, it's not East Space. Spacesuit. Maybe like what's so I was wearing a tier one. Uh, you don't tell me anything about, like, what you do about, uh, radiation protection. How do I, uh, the little pressure radiation info doesn't tell me at all. What? What? Puts a full stop to pressure damage and slow the radiation gain. What about you? For uh, full stop to pressure. Okay, so they all just slow radiation gain. How do I stop radiation gain? I don't know. But I'll have to figure that out uh, when I go back to Mercury and find a dungeon again and find a boss and do all the things that you have to do to, you know, continue on with expansions. It's good. To, it's a good feeling to finally have some more progress. So after the last series of, of uh, Galacticraft, I just, I mean, I had to do it all again for extra planets because the, the, I mean, the, it works differently. There was no spacesuits in the in Galacticraft, and I mean, I had to suddenly figure out how to do all that stuff. So now I finally got to a brand new planet. So I'll have to go back to that brand new planet and fight in a dungeon in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. But don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.